Cheddar Tina here once again from shortmeetina.com with my daily recap. Today is Friday, so TGIF. I'm going to make it really quick because I am extremely exhausted. So we're just going to talk about the SPY and the IWM. So uh, before we kick it off into a recap of the S&P 500, uh, I want to say once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking with me. Do me a solid uh, in the comment section. Just drop me a comment. Hi, hello, your thoughts on the analysis or any previous analysis that I've done and uh, thumbs up. So we're going to kick it off again with a recap of the S&P 500 SPY daily chart. It goes back to around uh, 2017, but I really just want to focus in on price action here market collapsed about uh, 30 percent we bottom question mark or quote unquote uh bottom in march um 23rd of 2020 a low of 218.26 and since then we've pr practically um ascended or we've risen about uh I didn't do the math, but I think it's about 30% at this point. Uh, close at 286.64. Essentially, I said uh, if we can get above that 280 to 285 level, which is representative, in my opinion, of resistance, I can see us 100% sort of like getting to that 300 mark, perhaps a little bit above there. Uh, I do not see us getting back to all-time highs. I do not see that quote-unquote V-shape recovery. I can see us if momentum continues. Getting back to maybe like 300, a little bit above there, and I can see us taking that next leg down. That's my opinion. Will that happen? That's obviously a huge question. Pardon, that's a huge question mark. Time will tell. Let's just really get into the uh, IWM, and then we're going to cap it there. Uh, so again, IWM, I did an analysis of this yesterday. We closed at 122.06. We're up about uh, 4% north of 5% on the day. Uh, again, also, it took that crash, and I think it probably was down about 40% in three or four weeks. So it kind of declined a lot more, or more severe than the other indexes. Um, but in terms of uh, shorter term, right, we're talking about March now. We've sort of been trading sideways. Uh, yesterday, I said if we can get above that 120 level and hold, uh, then I can see us uh, filling this gap here of uh, 140.99. So we actually got above, right? We got above that 120 level, closed at 122.06. It's looking like it's holding. And so if that can continue again, I can see us getting to uh, 140.99. So right now definitely paying attention to the indexes uh to on some levels inform uh the trades that i'm taking i know it's kind of short but i am super exhausted and uh that's all i got in me today all right so uh we're gonna cap it there hopefully i'll come firing uh with more on monday and um again if you want to see my thoughts they're up there uh, on our website and it's up there on our youtube channel every single day twitter i post it uh, all the time so Normally, I do about a handful. Today, I just got two of you. So if you want to know my thoughts on more, just uh, peruse my website, Twitter, or uh, YouTube, and you'll get a sense or a feel of how I do things. All right? So we're going to cap it there, Tina, here once again from shortmeantina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of that video, do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. Again, like the video. Let me know your thoughts. Two, uh, subscribe at our YouTube channel. I do videos every single day. And three, last thing right now, what I'm doing or what we are doing on our website is hosting a free 14-day trading course, essentially detailing a lot of the things that I've learned trading the stock market for the last uh, 20 years. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely head on over to our website, shortmeetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support, TGIF. Stay safe, enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you back here on Monday.